the disk you see here I'm holding in my hand becomes a superconductor when I cool it with liquid nitrogen to minus 200 degrees Celsius. Now, when I take this superconductor and place it on this regular magnet, like I'm doing right now, it just levitates. But it's not regular levitation. I can move it a little bit like this, and it stays locked. I can even flip it over like this, and it just stay there, hang by invisible magnetic strands. This is quantum levitation. I can even take this disk, or another disk, let's try it with two disks, and put it over this magnetic rail, and it just moves without any friction. Now, this is quantum levitation. It's a quantum mechanical effect, quantum physics. And in order to understand it, we need to learn a little bit about quantum physics, okay? I'm sorry for that. <laughs> so, are you ready? Yeah. Excellent, so we'll start with the first quantum mechanical equation, the Schrodinger equation. Relax, I'm not gonna teach you quantum physics today. I see the <laughs> relief. But the excitement that you felt, that we all feel when we see this levitation, is exactly the reason why we must take this demonstration, this science, this mad science, this magic, and put it in the hands of our kids. And this is exactly what we've been doing in, in the last three years, my colleagues and I. And I want to share with you some of the insights. You know, when a kid sees quantum levitation just like us, he's intrigued, he's excited, he wants to know more about this phenomena, he wants to understand how it works. And we let them. He wants to play with it, he wants to touch it. And it's important that we allow our kids to touch. You know, the other day I was practicing and, and a bunch of kids were moving around this demonstration and they wanted to touch it. And my first reaction was, whoa. But no, we have to let them play with it. And after they play with it a little bit, they start asking questions. And then we help them devise experiments. These are experiments that kids designed by themselves, became scientists for one day. And then, you know, we realized that quantum levitation is such a great tool. And we decided we need to take it farther. So we designed lab experiments that brought quantum levitation into science lab all across the country, all across the globe, basically. And people can learn classical, regular physics, science with quantum levitation, as well as modern physics. Now, when you look at how advanced our understanding is of science today, science and technology, you realize we have a huge challenge. We need to take our kids, this is my youngest kid, all covered in mud, like kids should be. And we, let it, and we must grow them up to be this. This is my eldest kid. Well, not exactly this, but we need to make them researchers. We need to make them explorers, discoverers. It's a huge challenge. And we realize that any modern education must include three elements. The first is curiosity. You are curious to know about this quantum levitation, right? And so are kids. They always ask questions. We must nurture this curiosity, encourage it always. This is the basics. Next is play. This is the most basic form of learning. We must let our kids play with science, with technology. Touch it with their hands. 
And the most advanced form of learning comes from experience. Get a hands-on experience, experiment. Learn about the world around us. Now, I want to give you another example that, of how we use these elements in a different, a little bit different area. Well, it all began uh, a few years ago when my eldest kid uh, came to me one day and, it was, and he was really excited like, wow, dad, look what I've built. And he comes to me and he shows me this science, electrical, something, experiment. And I was just looking, I was really, really happy. You know, I'm a proud father. My, my boy just builds a complex med scientist circuit, something. And I was just like asking him, so why did you build exactly? What is the circuit? And he just looked at me puzzled because he didn't realize what he was building. He didn't realize there was a circuit here. He was just following orders like we sometimes do. We, we certainly do that at school, sometimes at home as well. But he didn't understand what he did. And immediately I understood that there is an opportunity here. Why not bring the same elements into this, into electrical engineering, into electricity? So, what we did is we took the most basic and successful game ever. Can you guess what it is? Yeah. And we've added a certain element. We've added electricity. We call them Brixo. And using Brixo, you can build your own circuits. You can create machines that work, that are alive, that move, that light, that react. You can be the med scientist that we all wanted to be, well, most of us wanted to be when they were kids. Let me show you how it works. So, I have here a battery brick. Can you see it? And I'm building the circuit around it. I'm actually building, like I'm building with building blocks. I'm just, you know, playing with it. I was playing all day. It's fun. And I'm adding a light brick, for example. This is a light brick, and I'm putting the light brick here. But it doesn't work. Well, why isn't it working? Because I didn't close the circuit. So I, okay, I'm doing it right now, and it just shines. It works. I build a circuit. Now, while playing, while following instructions, I immediately learned about electricity. I learned concepts like current, like voltage. I can take this light and put a motor, and it just spins. I can build more complex circuits at the branch here and here and it just works. Now, this is simple. I can take this circuit and much more complex circuit, three-dimensional circuit, because, you know, this is building blocks, right? You can build whatever you want. I can embed them inside complex creations, like this helicopter or this, this car. I will stop it before it falls. <laughs> you see, we want to put quantum levitation, modern science, in the hand of our kids. We want to put Brixo, electrical engineering. Let them be the mad scientists for one day. Let them create crazy inventions. Just imagine the crazy inventions, the discoveries they will make if we give them these tools that we have. Thank you.